These are some of Minecraft's most important features which have changed drastically over the years. And I must say, the nostalgia is unbelievable. Make sure you keep track of your score of which is better, old or new Minecraft. And scroll down and subscribe and enjoy. Let's start off strong with the Nether. Minecraft 1.0's Nether was a really basic form of hell with the ugly old Netherrack texture and the cool lava from old versions of Minecraft. Also, there's not a mix of biomes, like there is in more modern versions of Minecraft, like the ones added in 1.16. It's just... Blah. This one's an easy win for the new nether, which looks amazing and really makes the old nether look, well, outdated. 1-0. Next is these items, and they all have one thing in common. Do you know what it is? Well, it's that they were all different textures in Minecraft in 2012, and look like this. Very nice, I have to say, especially the old cactus and the old ores, but the totem of undying looks absolutely sickening. It's disgusting. And because of the way it looks, I want to give another point to Minecraft now. But the nostalgia does have to be taken into account. So I am going to make it 1-1. One, one. It's just something about these blocks, man. So the blocks are better textured in old Minecraft. But what about the terrain in general? Old Minecraft, while nostalgic, looks slightly underwhelming when you see the new Minecraft terrain. Which makes the old world look like a completely different game altogether. Which I guess it kind of is. This is beautiful. And this makes me feel ill. So I'm sorry, but it's a comfortable win for new Minecraft. 2-1. Fighting and general combat mechanics mechanics is an interesting one because it is so divisive in the Minecraft community. If you're a fan of the new combat mechanics, that's fine. <laughs> But the old combat mechanics are far more basic. It's just spam click and pray that you win, which I must admit is far more intense and less, well, whatever this is. I could rant about how much I dislike the modern combat mechanics for an eternity. So let's just say it's an easy 2-2. But remember the way you used to build back in 2012? This was basically Picasso's work back then. And whenever your friend built something like this, you were sure they were the second coming of the Messiah. But really, come on, this is nothing compared to the builds nowadays. One example is obviously the Hermitcraft server. This is season eight and well it's not even a comparison really far more intricate far bigger and ultimately far cooler three two this is the end in old minecraft and it really surprised me the first time i saw it again the pillars are all over the place and the ender dragon doesn't really do anything but just try to charge and headbutt you it's really messy and i suppose it's cool but it's got nothing on the ender dragon fight that we have now the pillars with the cages on them adds a new dynamic to the fight so you can't just bow down every crystal and the ender dragon shoots its breath at you so you can't just stand still it's a far more more entertaining fight and it's way more dramatic than the fight in this end which is just well a bit boring at times it's 4-2 so the bosses are better in new minecraft but what about mobs well there are a whole load of mobs in minecraft today somewhere around 70 in the whole game now and that's without counting mobs like the giant or the illusioner which can only be spawned with commands old minecraft isn't quite as comprehensive sure you have the classics like sheep and skeletons but you have none of the newer mobs like the very useful ally and the terrifying warden but on the other hand is that better because there's less mobs, it makes Minecraft a simpler game. There's less to worry about. And of course, there's no phantoms, there's no vexes, and most importantly, no wandering traders. I want to see the world burn. It's gonna be 4-3. Close one, but I'll stick to my guns. Redstone is really cool, and it's created some of Minecraft's most impressive builds, like this calculator, which does maths and stuff. But is it better now, or was it better back in the olden days? Old redstone contraptions were quite primitive, and had basic piston mechanics and simpler redstone. These three redstone items were primarily used, and what people managed to do with such simple materials was so impressive. One example is the Temple of Notch. Super cool. However, modern redstone takes a casual glance at this and takes a big steamy dump over all of it. The calculator is just one small example, but there are hundreds of insane examples all over YouTube. But my favourite one is this, where you can play chess in Minecraft. If anybody wants to catch these hands on the chessboard, just let me know. 5-3. These redstone contraptions were all somehow done in vanilla Minecraft. But what about modded Minecraft? Well, mods were in a very primitive state in old Minecraft, and some of the more impressive mods that you might remember from your childhood, like Fisk's superhero mod, are really cool and were definitely ahead of their time, but come on, there is a plethora of cooler mods out nowadays. But the new Minecraft wins with two words, Optifine and Shaders. 6-3. Unfortunately, not everyone can be Spider-Man and swing around everywhere. Us mortals have to use traditional modes of transport, like minecarts and just walking, which was good and all, and takes me back to old Minecraft. Especially minecarts. It's just a simpler time, man. I think that the Elytra is technically better 
better, but I don't really care because the old minecarts are so nostalgic. So it's winning. I don't care. But the electrics are too easy and you kind of miss a lot of the Minecraft world. Everyone remembers their old minecart routes. Does everyone remember their elytra routes? Minecart wins. 6-4. Although one upside of the elytras is that it's not impacted by oceans, which have changed significantly since old Minecraft. Look at these ocean floors in old Minecraft. They are so ugly. The colors are clapped and there is no variety in the ocean at all. It's just so blur. It looks like the bottom of a toilet after a dump. It's genuinely grim. Compare this to the new ocean floor, or should I say floors, which are far more colorful, far more textured, and far more diverse. It's another comfortable win for new Minecraft. Making the score 7-4. On the topic of the seven seas, or one sea if you're stuck in old Minecraft, boats were very different in old Minecraft, and well, broke very easily. But newer boats are far more robust, have the cool ore animation to go alongside it, and the boats with chests, which takes the cake when it comes to the boats. It's not looking good for old Minecraft, but it's definitely not over yet. 8-4. Naturally generated structures are in old Minecraft, but they aren't as plentiful and don't have the same allure as the ones in modern Minecraft. Features like ocean monuments, which allow the player to collect sponges and farm guardians for XP are very useful, and wooded mansions give totems of undying and emeralds, as well as a cool place to live if you so choose. But again, do you remember the first time you stumbled across these structures? I sure do, and it was horrifying. The woodland mansion ruined my day because the mobs were so damn strong in them that they destroyed my protection one iron armor and just kept on killing me. Granted, if you know how to deal with these places, they're not too bad, but for the first time player, they are a gauntlet. The argument for old Minecraft again is that you don't have to deal with the stresses of these monuments because they're not there at all. Now, just because the structures are there doesn't mean you have to visit them, but the temptation is bad enough anyway. Uh, it's a close one, but I'm gonna side with simplicity again. Conveniently, making this 8-5. Told you it's not over. Caves are an easy clap for new Minecraft though, because old caves are just boring. There's a difference between something being simple and boring, because in this context, simplicity lets the player play the game more enjoyably, whether that be giving the player more freedom, helping them through obstacles, that kind of thing. Whereas boredom restricts the actions of the players majorly, and that's no fun. In new Minecraft, caves are massive and colorful and beautiful. Call me Dolly Parton because it's nine to five. <laughs> Oh, please like and subscribe. Next is a biome which I originally wasn't going to include in this video, but well, I saw it during production and I had to throw it in here. The swamp biome in old Minecraft looks absolutely <laughs> disgusting. It has a really weird hard border with other biomes, which is horrible, a terrible dark green which just looks like slurry, and a mix of land and water. Is it a lake? No. But is it a land biome? Also no. It couldn't make its mind up and as a result, screwed itself over. The modern equivalent has the same problem, but the borders are far smoother in the water and the the green is still grim like it should be, but at least it's tolerable as opposed to, well, whatever the heck this is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 10-5. Get hyped. Oh. This is the Minecraft creative mode menu that we all know very well. Some more than others, not to point fingers. And this is the old creative menu. Wow, that's a throwback. So which is superior? The old menu has no search function because there were so few items in the game that it practically wasn't necessary. If you knew roughly where an item was on the menu, you could scroll down and grab it quickly. However, the newer menu has some downfalls, primarily that the majority of these tabs Tabs I never use. I don't know about you, but whenever I want anything from the creative menu, I just go to the search tab immediately and just type it in. There are so many items that I don't feel like it's worth learning where everything is, when just searching for it would be faster anyway. It's cluttered and messy, and I don't like it. 10 6. Creative mode is great for building stuff, whether that be houses, signs, or parkours. That's right, in the most uncomfortable segue ever, we're talking about servers. Almost all servers are incompatible with old versions of Minecraft now, but you and I remember the good old days of Minecraft survival, where SMPs were played before they were even called SMPs. SMPs, and building up a survival world with your mates was unbelievably engaging. I remember being in school waiting for the bell to ring so I could rebuild a mob spawner for the fourth time. I don't think it ever worked actually. Nowadays we have giga servers like Hypixel, Hypixel, and Hypixel, which have several game modes, but the SMP is still there. However, Realms is there as a way of making money for Microsoft, which many people don't realize they don't need. I'm not being paid to say this, but there is a website in the description to set up a free server for your friends to play on, so you never have to use Realms again. It's not sponsored or anything like that. It's just been really useful to me and I think it should be useful for you guys as well. Anyway, old Minecraft wins for the memories made on those servers. 10-7. I am a sucker for nostalgia, which I think is evident in my rating so far. So the old Minecraft menus are awesome to me, but I have to say the amount of choice given in Minecraft now is so much better. With large biomes, amplified worlds, and so much more you can do to tweak your Minecraft world. It's a great win for modern Minecraft. It's 11-7. It's not looking good, bruv. Villages in old Minecraft were really basic with gravel paths and no variation 
creation and design based on the biome the village is in. So when you see this, you understand why modern villages are cool as hell. There's the hay for loads of bread, modern villager trading is far better, and the villages themselves are so much prettier than the older ones. I can't even make an argument for old villages here. It's 12-7. Shall we make the last one worth 100 points? No, because this is the reason to play old Minecraft, in my opinion, over new Minecraft. It's the glitches. Now hold on, stay with me. The glitches can be annoying at times, but they can be funny or useful. Like this glitch, where the land just simply cuts off at a random point, creating one of the most unique world generations I've ever seen. Or the ice to water glitch in the nether, where you can have water in the nether in Minecraft 1.0, using torches to defrost the ice. These glitches amplify the game in parts and lighten the mood at times. Like when you're in the middle of walking for hours and you come across something cool like this, it's a nice bit of comic relief from traveling. Modern Minecraft doesn't have this as much at all, which is a bit of a shame, but I suppose it makes perfect sense. So the final score is 12-8 to modern Minecraft. Congratulations! Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe!